What's going on, everybody? It is 11.43 p.m. Saturday, February 19th, and here we are at the end of the day. Um, here is my shameless plug right in the beginning of the video. going to get straight to it. If anybody needs any of these domains, they are available for sale. If you do not like the price, there's my Twitter. You can DM me my actual email address if you go on um, unstoppable domains and look them up you can get a direct email to me whatever let's get these things moving gotta get rid of them i don't really have to but i want to anyway uh we're not gonna do much talking about this because this all is some trash right now um there's a lot of talk about it being an ABC, which means that if it is, Bitcoin's coming down into like the 35 to 37.5 range before working its way back up into its retracement, which is where this whole area is. And me personally, regardless of what my, uh, my percentages and my gains or whatever they are, when I get into this level myself, the 618, I will be selling some of all of my crypto and if it keeps continuing up to this, I'll sell a little bit more. I would still sell some. And yeah, I just, it's, it's forming into a bearish structure. So if, it, if this is what happens and it nails it and then just drops down into a four-year stru stru structure going back into a crypto winter type situation, which would be fine, you know, it's accumulation time again at that point, but... I don't want to get caught with my pants down and no extra money on the side because it's already happened to me a few times and it pisses me off. So I got this in one of my emails. Um, for those of you who don't know, my first name is Michael. Uh, immediate changes in Exos earn interest product in the U.S. I find this very interesting, the timing of this. Uh, as one of the world's most trusted digital asset institutions and a company committed to compliance with applicable laws and jurisdiction operation, Nexo is announcing important changes to the earned interest product for clients in the U.S. As the regulatory framework for digital assets continues to evolve, we remain committed to doing the same and to continue providing our clients with the best possible solutions for their digital assets. We are encouraged by the first of its kind settlement announced by the SEC over... And over 32 U.S. states on Valentine's Day, as it brings much-needed clarity to crypto asset interest-bearing accounts and to the provision of such services going forward. I do have that document here. Um, to this effect, Nexo has voluntarily determined to implement significant changes to how this product works in the U.S. to be in compliance with the announced guidance. All assets and trusts of Nexo are safe and accessible to all clients as always. There's a real-time audit, yada, 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 yada. And then here's the key takeaways. Uh, the current changes only affect earning interest, interest product for U.S. citizens and residents. U.S. citizens will continue to enjoy all the other uh, things you can do at Nexo, which really doesn't make sense to me other than collateralizing your assets. But if you can't collateralize them and earn interest on them, I don't know. I, I've been a big fan of Nexo. I'm a customer of theirs. I know, I don't know. It kind of sucks to see this from a business standpoint. I get it, but from a... Yeah, from a whatever standpoint, I don't know. Um, and for the existing U.S. Cust clients, you can continue to earn interest on your current saving wallet's balances only. New top-ups to that wallet as of today will no longer earn interest until the restructuring of the earn interest product and the registration process with the relevant regular buyers are finalized as per the recently announced guidance. Once complete, eligible clients will be migrated to the product 2.0 and new top-ups will earn interest. Any assets withdrawn from the saving wallets, even if returned later, will be treated as new top-ups and will not earn you interest. New U.S. clients, the earned interest product in its current form will not be available for U.S. clients, so the restructuring, yada, 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 yada. Um, as far as 2.0, as the team and legal advisors are working around the clock to develop solutions for the clients that will make the product as widely accessible as possible and compliant with all the new regulatory realities. We will provide more details as soon as possible. Um, of course, they're firm believers in the transformation of powers of blockchain and meaningful innovation oriented regulation and blah, 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 blah. And I, I agree with that. I like them as a company. Um, sorry, I had to take a drink. It's not that I'm like really disappointed in them. I'm just disappointed that I'm seeing this. 
the agreement that they had referenced was when BlockFi just agreed to pay $100 million in penalties and pursue registration of its crypto lending product. A company agrees to attempt to bring its business into compliance with the Investment Company Act of 1940 within 60 days. So within two months, you know, mid-April, this is supposed to be done for BlockFi anyway. So I would imagine that places like Nexo are probably hot on their heels trying to do it. Um... To be honest with you, I didn't read this all, but they failed to register. They violated. Um, it's the first case of its kind with respect to crypto lending platform, says Gensler. Today's settlement makes clear that crypto markets must comply with time-tested securities laws, such as the Security Act of 1933. That's almost 100 years ago. Ugh. It further demonstrates the Commission's willingness to work with crypto platforms <coughs> to determine, excuse me, <coughs> how they can come into compliance with those laws. I'd like to thank and commend our remarkable staff and state regulators for their efforts. Uh, crypto lending platforms offering security like BlockFi's BIA should take immediate notice of today's resolution and come into compliance with federal security laws. Adherence to our registration and disclosure requirements are critical to providing investors with the information and transparency they need to make well-informed investment decisions in the crypto asset space. So, without even getting any farther into that, they are targeting like DeFi and interest earning products, guys. This is this is what's coming. This is their next. Uh, first, it was Ripple, and you know you guys all know my opinion on that. That's the whole to get Ethereum and uh. Ethereum would jumpstart really Bitcoin too, but I think Ethereum will be the one that lasts for and has way more use in the future. Um, here's an article from the block: Crypto lender Nexo to stop paying interest on new deposits. They they basically just go through the same thing. Um, just tells you the same thing. Nexo is not um, responding for comment immediately. Um, in October. Nexo had appeared to have been the subject of scrutiny in the U.S. state of New York, along with a crypto lending firm Celsius, according to unredacted letters that had become available at the time. Gary Gensler, the SEC chair, has highlighted the crypto lending sector as one area in which federal officials are scrutinizing. And if you remember, unfortunately, I, I don't have this already pulled up, but... lending, SEC... You know, Coinbase canceled their lending program after the SEC fight. You know, it didn't even go anywhere and they stopped. Brian Armstrong was like, no, we're not going to do it. And that's when we kind of all hoped that, the, you know, the crypto community was really going to come together and kind of be like, you know, screw you guys. You're just being, they're basically being bullies is what they're doing. Um, Axios released an article a couple days ago. It was pretty cool. Um, it just it just says, you know, why does it matter? High yield savings accounts to crypto, which is one of my favorite things in crypto. I'm not here to buy, you know, shit coins going to the moon and all that. I like stuff with utility and I like to be able to park my cash somewhere where it can be put to work and my value can increase. That's what I like. So um, anyway, those savings accounts marketed as an inflation hedge and a less risky way to invest in assets have become popular. Gemini, Circle, Celsius, Voyager, and Crypto.com all offer various types of high-yield crypto products. Bloomberg reported last month that some of those companies are under active investigation by the SEC, which suggests more enforcement action to come. So, BlockFi agreed to pay $100 million in fees to settle allegations for the SEC and state regulators that it violated law and misled investors about the risks. In charging BlockFi, the SEC explicitly stated it views these types of accounts as securities and that they should be regulated as such. And what does that mean? That means that the industry pundits cheered the decision for providing a regulatory roadmap for offering these products and for showing the agency is open to allowing such services at all. Still, the devil is in the details for how crypto lenders eventually reach compliance. Um, a former senior counsel from the SEC's enforcement division said he would not be surprised if that division were to announce a crypto lending initiative to bring the rest of the industry into compliance. He said that initiative could include a template settlement that respondents will receive if they come forward, cooperate, remediate, and agree to come into compliance. 
But crypto supporters have long argued that existing regulatory frameworks don't fit perfectly into this new world and believe that enacting onerous regulations could deter Web3 innovation. In a dissenting statement on the BlockFi case, SEC Commissioner Hester Peirce wrote, Rather than forcing transparency around retail crypto lending products, today's settlement may stop them from being offered to retail customers in the United States. And what we're watching, BlockFi has already announced that it intends to register a new lending product to be offered and sold under existing security laws. That leaves BlockFi with at least one more hurdle to jump through, showing the SEC that the product will be compliant while still offering attractive yields in the face of greater regulation. So, guys, the, the regulatory stuff is happening. Gensler's not playing. That's you know the Ripple case is still going. They're gonna lose that. It's just they just it's the way they're being. Um, I'm going to get out of some of the, the more negative stuff. It's getting me a little fired up here. Uh, this is, I think this article is actually pretty old. Yeah, January. So, RippleX launches an NFT devnet with XLS20 amendment. And does it benefit XRP? It, we'll see what happens. I, if they're trying to ask that about price, that's not even why I'm talking about it. But it will, it will increase the usage and the transactions daily volume of XRP. That is for sure. So, Ripple's developer on Ripple X announced on Tuesday the launch of the NFT DevNet, where they have deployed the XLS20 amendment. Cryptographer and leading software engineer at Ripple X, Nick Bugalis, tweeted about the release and noted that the NFT DevNet was available for anyone wanting to begin testing proposed native NFT extensions to the XRP ledger. Um, this is all cool stuff, you know, pending implementation and an 80% vote in favor of enabling the development. Developers will be able to support more NFTs at a lower cost, offer to buy or sell, leverage auction functionality, and a direct a cut of secondary sales to the original issuer on the XRPL. Um, you know, XRPL has invited developers to provide feedback. Uh, they talk, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, you know, the XRP community has been waiting for new XRPL capabilities for a long time now, especially given the murky outlook of the case. This could be a breath of fresh air to the XRP community. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse shared the update starting New Year, new XRPL capabilities. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I'm a huge user of Zum Wallet. That's my favorite wallet. Um, I actually need to set this up for what I'm doing right now. Anyway, enough of that. I have been beta testing for these guys. They have... Um, a, they have a pretty cool service. You'll be able to create NFT marketplaces. You'll be able to cre you'll be able to create all kinds of stuff by the time it's said and done. Um, but right now, the NFT marketplace is what I'm personally helping out with. And they uh, they have one on XRPL, and they have one on Binance Smart Chain. Um, I believe just because of the XLS twenty situation taking a little bit longer to get itself where it needs to be that you will see uh some functionality for bsc here in a much uh near near future than you on the xrpl side but i'm still you guys know me i'm an xrp guy that doesn't mean i may still run a shop through vagabond with uh, bsc but i have not used their bsc platform at all yet i have only use the XRPL and we're gonna go there so here is their website make sure you follow them on Twitter by the way um, I think that this is not financial advice obviously I think this is gonna be huge just the way I've met some of the team and talked to them and they're smart people they understand that they can do stuff and really create a cool thing they got a pretty good uh, set of partners here if you want to look into those guys individually this is the newest one it's a pretty big deal i believe they bought half of the uh half the company which is a pretty big deal um so anyway we'll go in here and we will go to my projects and i have my true perception images nft page and before i even go to show you my nft page we are going to mint one because that's exciting, right? And we have an audio track from one of my buddies. Um, I had already put it on here. I don't have all of his links anymore. And I should have prepared them. 
before this video because now I'm not going to be able to put them in there. So I will definitely put them in the description because I totally... I had already made this and I think somebody bought it on the test net already. So that's, anyway, I want to show you how easy it is. So you saw how quickly we got here. You go to start. The name of his song is Love. You want to upload an audio file. Where's my desktop? I'll go down. Did I leave it in here? I did. So now that's uploading. Can I also upload? There is the thumbnail. I think you might have to wait. I think this did happen to me before. Daniel Ortiz. I'll at least put his name there for the purpose of the video. So now, straight up, like right now, you save it. You're sending your data to the metaverse. And boom, that, ha that has now been minted to the, uh, to the ledger. Now what's cool about that is let's go to, let's go to visit now because this always loads so if any of you guys or my, if any of my friends watch this, you're going to laugh because there's a lot of you guys in your headshots. So a lot of my customers are on here, but I've kind of designed it like our website just to, you know, just to be easy about it. But, um, yeah, you come down, you get all this stuff. My internet is like getting crunched right now. You know, like I'm, I did this. It's a weird little thing. But... I mean, that's literally me just out there doing some breath work and made a video with my video or with my um, my phone. Here's another little clip we made. Daniel actually helped out with all the videography for this stuff as well, too. We, I just did the photography side of things with a buddy of mine, but it's uh, and these are cool too. You can full screen them. I don't know how good the quality will always be, but pretty decent. This is an NFT, you saw it took, what, 30 seconds to make it. And that, you know, for, that's, this isn't something I'm necessarily trying to put on the market, but for right now, you know, it's, we're testing this stuff out. This is Daniel, by the way, who sings in that track right here. And I'm not going to list it for sale so people will quit buying it. That way I can reference it again if I need to. Well, you see, like, let's just go through and look at everything I got on here. Um, I bought a, a Gary Gensler going crazy. We got some interior photography of mine. We got a maternity session. We got tons of headshots. Everybody knows I like that. We got, you know, tons. Of Miss Amber, this is all the same girl. She's everywhere. This is Ashley. She's another one of our favorites. This is her when she was pregnant. This is actually also Daniel here. Uh, shout out to Brandon. There is Amber. We got the little babies. Amber, Amber. Brittany Daniel. Doubting Thomas here. Um, I do light painting. So I'm going to you know let you guys know that some of these... That's weird how that loaded. Some of these will be available for sale as NFTs. Obviously, I will still be able to sell them as like prints and digital copies and stuff like that. But when I make an NFT of a, of a photo, I, I do intend on making only one. Just because I think that's 
that's what how it should be, in my opinion. Unless it's a collection, maybe. I know some people really like to do that stuff, too. But um, where was the other one? Oh, yeah. And then just to check this out. So it's this cool. And we'll, uh, we're actually going to ride out to a song now just to give him a little shout out. When I spit in that woman, embracing, I'm taking that look when you smile Cause I haven't seen one in a while, you're kinda like spicy your mind It's lit to do both when you're high, I'm on top of my game but I'm tired Of seeing your face looking sad, I'm healing you up when I'm down Don't wanna hear thank you, go now, I'm a soldier with blood in my hands Not the type to show all of my bands, wanna ask you to be mine but I'm scared But I'm just trying to give you what you wanted Cause everybody knows you've been on my mind And we're not trying to talk until the morning, baby I'm an artist and I want you to caress my mind yeah, you got it, I know you need it He don't respect you, so you the leader You fucked around and started fucking with the wrong ties Ties, ties I need your love No playing games, it's gonna feel right, yeah I need your love I'm gonna get it right For those of you that will be following the channel and my NFT marketplace, Daniel is a guy who does second shooter and th third shooter duty sometimes for me as far as photography goes. He does a lot of my videography work, so a lot of what you will be seeing will be his stuff. I actually took this photo of this rose with him. Uh, he did the album art on top of that with some skins or overlays, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do all of that stuff on the XRPL with Vagabond. We got NFTs. Give me a subscribe, a f uh, get, watch some videos. I gotta get this thing going. I, I took a break for like a few months. I was getting my photography company ready and it's just been crazy. Um, yeah, but that's gonna do it for the video for me guys. Um, if you want to be super cool, Super fans, you can always go to my main website that has all my stuff on it. And you can go to the bottom and you follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. This updates on the regular as I, as I take photos. But yeah, whatever. I don't feel like putting links in here. I'm being lazy. I'll talk to you guys later.